on this line, enter a A equals ABS X. Go to this tab by pressing the window button. Paste the A equals. For the ABS, we will go to the catalog. Press the second button here and then the zero button here. Arrow down to ABS here and press the enter button. Enter a X into the parentheses. Move the cursor to the right and press enter to go down to the next line. On this line, enter B equals FABS X. I will go here to get the B equals. Then go back to the catalog to get the FABS. Press the second button, then zero button. We'll go down to the F's by pressing the F button on the TI-84. Press the green alpha button, then the F button is here. And there is FABS. Press the enter button. Enter a X. Right arrow to get out of the parentheses. Press enter to go down to the next line. This line, enter a C equals ABS Y. And on this line, enter D equals F ABS Y. This line, enter print ABS negative 5.6 equals comma a. Go to the catalog, then alpha p to go down to the start of the p's, arrow down to print here and hit enter. Go to this tab by pressing the window button. Arrow to the right to get and paste the apostrophe. Go to the catalog to get the ABS. Enter a negative 5.6. Right arrow out of that first closed parentheses. Go get and paste the equal sign. I forgot to get the close apostrophe also. I will go and get and paste that close apostrophe. Now enter a comma and a A. Right arrow to go to the end of that line. Press enter to go down to the next line. Okay, here are the three print commands that I entered. We are ready to run the program. Hit the Run tab here by pressing the Trace button. Here's the result. The ABS of negative 5.6 is 5.6. The FABS of negative 5.6 is 5.6. The ABS of negative 7 is 7. And the FABS of negative 7 is 7.0. So the FABS will always return a floating point number, even if given an integer only. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.